view is, at this point, it's no longer possible to test the hypothesis <coughs> of is it the Israeli government, Israel lobby, or is it the US government, because they're so interlocked. You don't know who's interacting with who anymore. Does President Bush serve US national interests or Texan interests? <laughs> well, nobody asks that question because they recognize Texas is an integral part of the US and to sort of say US interests versus Texan interests, it's kind of, it's nonsensical. And my own view is Israel has become so integral to US policy strategy and everything else that to separate out an Israel interest from a US interest is as artificial as to separate out a Texas interest from the US interest. The B'nai Brit and the Defamation League, which uh, some of you may know is the main Jewish or a defense organization, it specializes in defaming the character of anyone who criticizes Israel. <laughs> or currently, you compare the situation to occupied territories with apartheid in South Africa. When you make the comparisons, Israel comes out on the wrong side of the analogy. That's why, that's why, that's why you're told, that's why you're told not to compare. Sudan. Because, the is not Sudan. sir, when you can find Sudan on the map, I'll compare <laughs> Take someone like Professor Chomsky. He acknowledges that the Palestinians were ethnically cleansed in 1948. Everyone now agreed that the Palestinians had suffered an ethnic cleansing in 1948. You can take somebody who's quite mainstream now, uh, someone like Benny Morris. He wasn't then, but he is now, a quite mainstream Israeli historian. He'll acknowledge that Palestinians suffered an ethnic cleansing in 1948. Ethnic cleansing, it was an ethnic cleansing, an ethnic cleansing. The Palestinians were ethnically cleansed in 1948. The ethnic cleansing, it was an ethnic cleansing. So let's take the case of the would-be collaborators from the right wing of the Zionist movement. Ah who sent letters, who sent letters and emissaries, <laughs> sent letters and emissaries to collaborate with the Nazis. That's a lie. And <laughs> interestingly <laughs> enough, one of those, one of those who was involved in trying to establish contacts with the Nazis, one of those became the Prime Minister of the State of Israel, Yitzhak Shamir. If we learn how to wield the weapons of truth, I'm fully confident, I am fully confident that we can win. The truth, the truth, justice, it drives the other side into a panic. <laughs> Victory is possible. Thank you.